Hello friends, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I am going to explain you how you can send WhatsApp messages to your abundant checkout in Shopify using N810 workflow. Okay. Content cards are in Shopify refer to the situation where a customer adds the products to their online cart, but they just leave the store without uh, completing the order, right? As a store owner, you are losing a lot of uh, orders by this method because maybe like uh, what happened is when uh, people are just uh, filling the orders, they'll be facing some issues and they won't be able to complete the order or they just miss that, okay? So all these are called the abundant cart in Shopify, okay? So in order to fix this one, uh, Shopify is having inbuilt features which will send automatic emails uh, in certain time uh, which is available within the Shopify flow and Shopify uh, email and all but the, the opening for the emails are very less right especially in the Middle East uh, in, uh, in Dubai or in Saudi and all the opening of emails are very less so if we can send some WhatsApp message it will get more triggered and we will be able to complete the order faster so for that uh, I have created a workflow using n basically in n workflow uh, in Shopify uh, node we don't have the option for getting the abundant checkout or the abundant order details okay so for that we have created a custom code and we have just integrated that using the HTTP request and uh, we are using the WhatsApp business cloud API uh, for sending the messages okay so I'll just tell you how you can do that so let get into the video workflow what i'm using okay so i'm having the trigger which execute okay which start with the execution on click uh, but this can be replaced with the scheduler trigger okay this can be uh, and we can just set the time interval the date uh, the number of days or the uh, the trigger when it need to execute so for example if i need to execute this uh, uh, every day uh, at midnight or any other time we can just use this trigger okay but for uh, showing the demo i'm just going to use this execute one okay the execute one so what happened is when we click on this execute trigger it will just go to the first uh, node okay which is the HTTP node okay so here what I have done is I have created a custom code okay uh, by using PHP I have created a custom code in which what we are doing is we are just setting uh, we are just uh, using a, a secret key for authentication and after that we are just uh, using our Shopify, uh, Shopify URL as well as the uh, access to token to get the uh, checkout details or the abundant checkout details okay. so it will just fetch the abundant checkout details for me uh, in, and uh, it will just give me in a gs1 format okay so this is uh, this is what happens here okay. so if i just execute this one so it will fetch all the information from the shopify and it will just show that okay so if i'm just going here in the shopify i can see that there are three uh abundant checkout i'm having and all the three will be listed here so when i just click on this execute it will just uh, get all the uh three information as well as the complete information okay what all information the user has placed it will be uh, retrieved from the api so this is the first step also this is the http request stage okay? so after that what we are going to do is we are get, we are going to filter it out so what happened is like here we are getting a lot of information right so we have to just use a code node for uh, making it uh, sorted also because i only need the name of the customer uh, as well as the products that they are having in their cart or the uh, it, what they have missed uh, and the checkout link okay so these are the three things which i need so uh, after the http node we'll just add the code node for filtering this one so if i just execute this one i can see that this all are the information okay so one is having the name phone number one is having the name phone number the another is not having any uh, name but it's having the phone number and we what and we can also get the product details okay so this uh, user is having two uh, products this is just having one and this is having one okay and the cart url okay so this is the the url what uh, the customer can use uh, like if they click on this link they can just directly go to the checkout and check out uh, the check uh, their order okay so this is the url for that we are just uh, filtering out uh, all this information what we need uh, for the next node uh, by using the code node okay? and after that what we are going to do is we are just passing this information to the uh, whatsapp business node okay or the whatsapp cloud api node so we, what we have just done is we, we just got all the information here right so these are the information 
uh, from the previous node so i just got all the information from this uh, previous node and after that i'm just sending them to the uh, whatsapp api okay what i have used is uh, like i have just created a uh, template in my whatsapp account so this is my whatsapp again i have just created a template and submitted and after getting the approval from the uh, facebook uh, only we will be able to use this one okay so for that what happened is like uh when I uh, select this node uh this is called the whatsapp uh if i just go here i can see that uh this is the whatsapp uh business cloud and i can just get the option there's a, a message action called send template okay so this is the node what i have used and i can i can just select the template okay what is the operation for this one this is uh, for sending the template to the customer and after that i'm just adding the uh, the uh, the all other information and i'm just uh when i just uh, execute this step it will just send the message to the customer okay what we have done is we have just uh created the uh we have selected the, uh the operation as template and we have just passed uh, this uh, the, this phone number what we had just passed from the previous node uh, as a phone number for the receiver and we have just selected the template what you have created in our meta okay. this is the template what I have created and got the approval okay so i'm just selecting this one and after that i need to pass certain details like this information because actually when we are creating the template when we are creating the template because this one is for the marketing purpose right so uh, this comes under the marketing purpose okay so if i just send the message using the normal send option it won't work so i have just created it using the marketing method and what i have just done is i have just uh, submitted i have just uh, assigned some variables uh, which is uh, like uh, i have just added the product as well as the checkout these are the variables and I have just submitted okay so these details need to be uh, passed with the body so we, i have to mention like these are the information we need to be pa uh, uh, passed uh, to the uh, whatsapp okay so for that i have just added this one as a text type as well as i just mentioned this is the product and i'm just adding the product one and this is the checkout link these two are the variables what i have declared with, uh, within this template okay so that's why i have just selected this one and after that if i just click on execute step it will just send the messages to the customer you can see that this is the test output so uh, it will just uh, show me the information what i have mentioned the template as well as the uh, name i mean like uh, this is the name of the product and these are the name of the product and after that this is uh, the link to the checkout if i just click on this link it will take me directly to the checkout page where i uh, where uh, i can just complete the uh, checkout process so by using this flow you will be able to send the message uh, without using any other other uh, third party apps or anything from directly uh, from your meta account so in shopify we are having the abundant checkout email option but it's only email we cannot send the whatsapp message or anything so but by using this n workflow you will be able to send the message to the customers or the abundant checkout or the abundant uh, orders so this is a simple workflow and uh, we are having a simple code which fetches the abundant uh, checkout details from shopify so this is the only uh, only coding part and we are using this uh, in the workflow for sending the messages to the customer hope you like this video if you are having any question let me know and if you're looking for someone for uh, automating or some, someone for integrating this in your shopify store you can contact us or you can hire us for that so maq computer services is an ai automation agency uh, which will help you to automate your uh, tasks using the help of ai so if you are looking for ai automation or any type of automation services you can contact us so if you want to buy this uh, workflow and the code for that you can also contact us thank you for watching